It seems like these golf cart intros are becoming a thing. Well guys, it's National Donut Day, so you would expect to see some spins and smoke. Uh, kind of like at FD, when I should win, but I choke. Man, this whole FD, this drifting thing, it's gonna make me go broke. But you know what? I have a good time and I hang out with some nice blokes. So, we're going down. I feel I'm like Tarzan on my property, swinging from ropes. See me coming through with lots of fine folks. I'm rolling up on the building so we can look at the E36. I just want to drive it, man. I need to get my fix. You know what I haven't had in a while? Those sugary, sweet pixie sticks. Enough with the videos, man. Let's go shoot some pics. To start off, I have some great news. It's a happy day, not sad, when you have the blues. But what is blue? I'll give you a clue. Don't mind me and my waterproof shoes. Our friend Ray laid down some paint. A bad guy, you know he ain't. Man, look at this glass. It's almost as fine as my girlfriend's pass when we went drifting that last time. You know me, I wouldn't commit a fast crime. Remember Nickelodeon when they would play with that green slime? But anyway, what I do have to say is that it's gonna be a joyous day. Although we're not installing my brand new kit, we are going to be doing some cool <laughs> Let's go out in the shop and check out what's going on with the car itself. And of course, it's mechanical health. We got our drive shaft from Drive Shaft Pros. Actually the same exact one that we run on the S15, if you didn't already know. They did a fantastic job and it fits up great. And it's three and a half inch aluminum, so it's got a nice weight. Johan pulled the whole rear out so we could get everything painted and tight. Now with this beefed up drive line, this thing's gonna put up a great fight. We're gonna run a very long ratio in the quick change, so I only need to use two gears. It'll let me be really fast off the line in competition and my competitors, it will elicit fear. You might notice the new thick intercooler from the S15, intended to efficiently cool the air and keep it nice, ice cold, and mean. Marco also modified the radiator to make a dual pass instead of four. We're hoping that that'll help the water flow better like the of a Okay. It's very awkward because I have a bunch of eyes on me. It feels like I'm bathing in the sun in the woods with a bunch of flies on me. Itch, itch, I have to scratch. This whack. Look, I'm so excited to hear the gears whine. It's gonna be a good time. If you don't enjoy this type of content, I apologize. I'm just trying to provide entertainment for all you guys. I gotta say, I always have fun riding these golf carts. It makes me feel like a beast in the ocean, a giant shark. It gets a little sketchy at night though with no lights in the dark. We're making a quick pit stop at the shop of Colette. I have to take her wheels off, but please, girlfriend, don't fret. She actually borrowed some spacers and I need them back. They're not the nicest, they're kind of whack. But on the E36, I need them for clearance and maximum attack. I'm not gonna lie, her new wheels are pretty sick. Out of all the wheels that she's had, these are probably the ones I'd pick. Damn, girl, you already got some scratches. Look at this spacer, Mike. I throw. You catch it. Is this getting old? Are you done with me? Or not? Or are you having fun with me? Hop on, let's go for a ride. When I push the pedal to the metal, man, this thing really glides. <laughs> I'm looking at the lens, so into the building we crash. Just kidding, last minute, oh I make the pass. <laughs> I am crazy, insane. There are things wrong in my brain. I cannot explain. It always ends in pain. <laughs> Johan, a prize, sir. Delivered for you. An Espanol, un regalo, for two. Oh, gracias. <laughs> no problemo, mi amigo. McDonald's, should we go? <laughs> Well, you know how you have comic relief for when, like something's like really serious in a movie? After watching the first three minutes of this video, I, we needed anti-comic relief. So we needed some chill, just normal content. So I, I apologize for that intro, it was a bit much. <laughs> I'm really glad we stopped it where we did. <laughs> so one of the things that I realized we kind of dropped the ball on, Freddy never got a welcome burnout. So this is Freddy's E46 M3. Have, has this been on camera? All right, Freddy, tell him, tell him, give him the quick rundown on the build. Uh, E46 M3, uh, SLR angle kit, BC two ways, hydro seats, uh, CSL airbox. It's, uh, it's a daily driver that you can beat on. All the suspension has solid bushings. Uh, whatever, just a fun car I can beat on and not really worry about too much. No more Supra. He sold the Supra. That was Daphne Supra. <laughs> Freddy, you get. We always saw you driving it, but. I mean, her name was on the title. Fair enough. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, no, it's like, this is Freddy's new drift car. I haven't seen him drift it yet, but we're gonna make him do a fat burnout. I, I wanna see the airbox. I'm gonna see it yet. God, <laughs> that is sick. <laughs> that is so cool. 
when you drift it, it's all induction noise. <laughs> it still has a stock exhaust on it, pretty much. So I want to I want to test a theory. That is so loud. I bet if we go behind the car, you can hear that over the exhaust. I think so too. Let's let's try it. Yeah, you can legit hear the intake. That's sick. <laughs> you don't really hear it much unless you open the windows. Really? Yeah. I wonder if you do like a cowl delete if you could hear it more. I remember the racers in the N54 world will do that. You could hear your turbos more if you take out all the filters. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a legit thing. Um, all right. She, you think she'll rip a sick Bernie? Yeah. This is okay. like 85. No, it's on a 93. It was an 85, and then Jordan was like, you're not supposed to do that with stock injectors. Uh, so we brought it back. Some water, or you think she'll... I'll try it. I'll try it dry. I'll do like first, and maybe try to grab gear. Or it'll bog down, who knows? It makes no torque. Tell them how Don't it is, be a bitch. There you go. I'll try, just One for you. Second. One, two? One, I mean, two. I did three, so... I'm not hitting three. Official Freddy, welcome! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> The building. Oh my god. Yeah. Whoa. No, yeah. Hey, no. Nope. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god. Dang. Oh no. Man. The oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry, Freddy. I hate this car. I'm sorry about the building. First person to crash here. Ow. Freddy. <laughs> what the? Oh. Brother. Oh. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> I was literally, I was like, I was like, damn, that's sick. And I was like, what if he can't see? There's a building there. Yeah, yeah. that's what happened. No. Oh. I don't care about the building. Turn I'm... out after the donut. And what? You went back towards it? Yeah. Oh, oh well. <laughs> I'm more bummed about the car than the building. Uh. Come on, boy. That one said, don't let me down, so. Crazy. Damn, First dude. casualty to the compound, dude. <laughs> oh, Honestly, if, if it wasn't for this piece, it would just look like you did a sick wall tap. Yeah. Uh, no, I'll leave the footage. It's a wall tap. No, it's okay. Yeah, no. Let me cry in shame. <laughs> it all happened so fast. <laughs> I, I seriously thought you popped your tire. So did we all. Like, all of us. <laughs> I thought I had a good, you know, circle point going, and obviously not. Well, you, you, you checked? I, I knew that building was going to get hit eventually by one of us. You got to wreck my bike into it, too? James, my guy. Oh, no, Freddy. <laughs> I got lost in the song. Freddy! Yeah. I have a shell for you. We did. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy's old car. Uh, Honestly, I can I, I can see Daphne like being like, this is what you get for what you did in my car. For sure. That's exactly oh, what she's come gonna on. say. Hers can be fixed Listen, with PDR. This is how it started, James. He was in oh. first gear, then he clicked second, then it turned into donuts. No, he clicked third. Donuts. I think you can get like just this, these new panels. I think it's easy. I could probably kick this out. Oh. Are you okay? What? Oh, oh it, did, it did knock it back. <laughs> it pushed it back a tiny bit. <laughs> Hurricane <Yeah>. Freddy smooth through. <laughs> Freddy's wild, right? Like I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm so I'm not upset about the building. I'm upset about the car, yeah. but I'm also proud because like he didn't do a burnout. Hey, can Ray fix it here? Yeah, sure. <laughs> hey, Daph. What's up? Hey, are you going to be back anytime soon? I'm just curious for uh, gate reasons. Yeah, um, I'm actually checking out at Publix. I'll be back within 20. Okay. Um, and then should I just plan on not leaving? Because you guys are going to be doing something? <laughs> no, you're good. Just oh, call okay. me when you're here. Right, okay. I'll be back. Bye-bye. Sleeping on the couch with the dog tonight. <laughs> 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 we got a surprise for you. Sweaty from the gym. What is going on? Mike, film her from a distance. What? Did you break it? Yeah. No, how? Really? You were just like thinking about selling it. You're, you're kidding, right? I can't sell it now. No, 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 you're kidding, right? I don't even want to look. What 
did you do, Freddy? Did you hit a building? Yeah, the shed. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm more sad about Freddy's car than the building. I really don't know how to feel right now because the past few nights he's been like, I'm gonna post it for sale and I want a different car. And I'm like, you always get a new car every six months. <laughs> now you can't. You can keep it. Good, now I you I broke have it to. in, I broke it in, you happy? Yeah. Broken in, it's mine now. Put my touch on it. <laughs> you know what though? Okay, this is kind of funny. Uh -huh. I actually backed into something once and hit this. Oh, so you're the cause of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally one day I'm like, I don't remember this mark on the bumper. <laughs> and then now she tells me. You were like, I'm gonna repaint the bumpers anyway. So I'm like, I'm gonna like, you know, save myself the pain Bro, and not tell him about it. Dang. <laughs> All right, so you guys are one for one. Yeah, you are good. One. I told Freddie this, this was karma for what he did to your E36. True, yes. That's way worse. Yeah, you're just PDRable and we're good. You say that, but you haven't found a PDR guy willing to do it. He told me to find a PDR guy. <laughs> because the one that he talked to quoted a lot of money. Yeah. Three grand to PDR, a door and a quarter panel. It's not that bad to hit a cone going like 50. You know, I knew something was up. When you pulled over there, I go, what's going on? Adam called me, Freddie said come to the office, like, what's going on? Howdy guys. Oh boy, it's a humid one. You don't have to take my word for it this time. You can't even see me. This video's definitely spanned a couple days. Uh, it's the next week. Apologize for missing the uh, video yesterday. Uh, me and Colette just kind of took a little trip this weekend. Tried to reset. There's been a lot of late nights at the compound between my stuff and her stuff. It's cool though, when we've been finishing up late, just being able to crash here. This is a lot of time of driving home for us. Mr. Power Washer guy is already getting work. Clearing the trail. I want to go check it out. God dang, dude, it looks like there's Hurricane Kevin came through here. So what's the plan now? Just grab all that stuff with the tractors you yeah, can get the truck we could, through? Yeah, we could just push it all the way and then push it back because I had to clear this hole out because I needed to make sure I could swing my trailer through here. It's a nice looking corner for a side-by-side -side if I had one. Just another day in the life on the farm. Heading to the gate, I got a special delivery. It's a big purchase that I've been debilarating, debilabbering, debilabobbing, de deliver, delivering. I've been, de it's deliberating in my head whether or not I should make this purchase and I'll explain the thought process behind it. But I think it's going to make upkeep here at the compound a lot better. So, you're ready to behold my new piece of machinery. talk to you about my new blower all right guys so since we got here I thought that the pressure washing would get rid of the concrete dust issue I'd say it took care of about 50% of it we can drift here now without like coughing for the next three days so that's sick but pulling in and out of buildings still pummels dust everywhere and I've been talking to a lot of people that maintain tracks have tracks maintain driveways landscaping um, and it was between getting a sweeper and a blower the blowers are loud and they make a lot of dust the sweepers take a lot longer, and both are about the same price. Well, technically blowers are more, but what I found out is, I was looking at blowers that I could tow behind like the golf cart, and uh, they have like their own engine and everything, and I found out they make a PTO one. So this is, this is the legit, uh, the, you know, the, the blower. I did all the research on all the tractor forums and all the tractor listings. The Buffalo is the one that you want. So I got the Buffalo, but I spoke to one of the, the equipment places, and they told me that they make a PTO one. So the PTO actually hooks up direct drive to the tractor. And what that means is I have one less engine to maintain. So it was about, I think, two or three grand cheaper. Um, and this should, should blow, dude. So I'm excited. This is mainly for maintaining the concrete around here. 
We might experiment and see if we can use it to blow out some of the buildings. Homie said it's like hurricane force winds. I don't know if we're talking like 100 mile an hour, 200 mile an hour, but he said it'll huff, it'll puff, and it'll blow your whole house down. So this is the controller. This is how you spin your, uh, what do they call it? The, the nozzle. Such a weird name for that. I gotta figure out where I wanna run this wire. I feel like I, even though going underneath probably makes more sense, I kinda wanna go up with it because then I can attach it to here and maybe like zip tie run through here. You agree, Marco? I'd say hard tie it to this thing and then leave it free because if you ever detach it, the remote just stays with this. First thing I've already realized I gotta do, they make a Bluetooth like wireless controlled one of these. Definitely gonna need that because I like, my gut, I wanna wire this nicely and like tuck it through everything. But the second we gotta pull this thing off, um, if we wanna, can we even use that? Is that just a lawnmower? But we don't use that. We don't mow the lawn. We have landscapers. Um, that sounded really weird. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have time to mow the lawn here. But every single time that we pull that off, if we wanna go take this thing like clear trails or something, we're not gonna want this thing in the back and damage it. So we're gonna have to keep pulling the wires off. So I'm not gonna go crazy with wiring it. I'll just put a couple quick zip ties so when I need to disconnect it, I can. And I can just leave this part hardwired to the battery. But I'm not gonna be able to make it look as pretty as I wanted. And we got a little wiring issue, so for now we've been having to jump start this thing. Guys, it's gonna be a crazy week here at the LZ compound. Uh, we got painters coming tomorrow. We've got a lift guy coming this week. I believe we have the new glass getting installed for upstairs. And then on top of that, the 36 should be done and ready to test at the end of today. We got clutch kickers coming up this weekend and probably 5 million other things that I'm not even thinking of right now. Um, so I'm stoked. Last week was kind of slow and it kind of bummed me out a little bit, but um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I'm sorry that I didn't really film much and didn't have an upload yesterday, but I hope you forgive me. 
It's gonna be a good week. Hope you guys are stoked for it. Thank you. When you say-